Hello everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. I have a pretty special package here today. Seems to be the theme the past couple weeks from the ever amazing Ted Flips. If you've seen any of Ty's uh, videos, you know a lot about Ted and all the things that he's done for Ty specifically and for myself, of course. But this is the first time he has ever sent me a ballad song to my knowledge. Um, this is the Hayes Tack Jigsaw. And Ted really, really wanted me to try it. I usually don't do pass arounds because I just don't like the stress of being responsible for other people's knives and then stressing about whether like it's packaged correctly when I send it out or that it's going to get if it's going to get lost when I get it in or send it out like so I'd usually just avoid it. But I figured this would be a fun thing to try out and Ted wanted me to try it out so I figured I would oblige. Um, I don't know too much about this thing. Uh, I've been looking endlessly for any sort of spec sheet and all I could find was a message from Ted that said it's 6061 aluminum and weighs 3.6 ounces. Um, other than that, it's a complete mystery to me. So here we go. First impressions of the Hayes Tech, Hayes Tack Jigsaw. Oh my God, it's tiny. Wait, what the, <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we have a Vulp, which I would also consider to be like a relatively small Balasong. And as you can see, it's actually noticeably smaller than the Vulp. Wow, especially when the blade goes out. What about a more standard experience like the Arctic? How does it compare to like the Arctic? I mean, you can already see that the handles are much thinner. Hmm. So it's not like super short but it feels a lot smaller than i think it actually is and that all comes down to i believe just the thickness of the handles um i'm not going to flip this over here we're going to head over to the beanbag of safety to give this thing a first flip um ted thank you again for sending this over i received this directly from buffalo dingus on instagram so thank you to him as well for sending it over let's give this thing a flip and see how it uh Actually, no. First, let's look at it. So you can see it's a trainer, but it's got this crazy, crazy bite marker on it. Um, although right here, I'm wondering if this will affect chaplains at all, because I feel like your finger would just go here. Anyway, let's give this thing a flip. This is, okay, this is interesting. Hmm. Ted keeps telling me that this is one of the most neutral ballast songs that he's tried, and I, I don't really know if I would agree with that. Um, be, just not because I disagree, but because I just don't, I don't know. I'm not the best judge of balances when it comes to stuff like this. Um, but I can tell you just based on chaplains that there isn't, it, it's kind of like the vulp in the sense that you have to do big, big chaplains to keep it steady. And it also just, it feels like it lacks momentum for some reason. Like you can see that I'm messing up with it sometimes because it just doesn't, it doesn't get going as fast as my hands are really used to with other ballad songs. Yeah, it, it, it seems kind of, I don't know what's up with it. It seems like it's a bit behind what my hands are expecting because it's running out of like momentum or something like that. This is, okay, this, <laughs> this is weird. Um, let me flip it slower. Also, let me give it a... Okay, I mean, zero G's pretty well. Not the best by any means, but I'll take that. Yeah, Z chokers is where it really... This is, reminds me of the Nautilus in a sense, where you really kind of have to... You kind of have to give it to Z choker. And even when you do, it doesn't really like Z choker with any personality or anything like that. It just kind of does the trick kind of boringly and then that's that's kind of it um but i will say even though it's barely any smaller than other ballast songs it's throwing me off a lot 
with the, the size difference. I should really like the size difference because I have tiny hands. But I guess by this point, especially flipping the edit, which the next video I upload will be my week long review of the edit. Um, not review. It'll be my my what I learned in a week with the edit, and that thing is is pretty big. Um, so coming off of that to this is an interesting experience. The balance it flips really well though. It fans really well, and um, rollovers are okay. I would probably like to see a little more momentum, a little more weight in the end of the handles. Probably would go a long way for this thing. But the balance is pretty good. Seems like it runs on tang pins. It's got this really interesting heat anno inside the cutouts of the blade. Um, not the grippiest thing in the world. Despite having this little speed channel and actually a really nice texturing and hole cutout in the faces, the aluminum is just kind of slippery. Hmm, I really don't know what to make of this thing, to be completely honest. Let me try, I'm going to try a bite handle chaplain, because I feel like you look at this blade and you're like, wow, that would probably hurt. But I also think my finger might just chaplain. Yeah. Yeah, no, your finger just slots in right under. Right here is where you're chaplaining. So it actually is just like a pretty comfortable chaplain experience, if not a little bit shaky. I also should have picked, I should have picked a different sweatshirt to, to flip in. Because this is not working out for me with these sleeves. I'm, I'm trying to get down the door. Oh, sorry, Ted. <laughs> That's enough of that. Um... We got a little paint on it. <laughs> I'll clean that off. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm not talking too much on this thing, but this is just, it's just kind of weird. Like I, I, I genuinely don't know what to think of it right now. I don't know if I'm really enjoying it or if it's just kind of ant to me. It's not bad by any means. I definitely like it a lot, but um, yeah, I definitely like it a lot, but I, gosh, I can't even form a coherent thought while flipping it. I like it. Like it, it has an interesting balance, but then I'll like go for a, a trick that I know how to do and it just, it just falls. Yeah, right there. If you do the infinite... Oh, okay, maybe that's it. If you do the index to thumb, it has this weird momentum shift that is really weird to get used to. Maybe that's where the weirdness is coming from because everything else feels okay once you get past the slightly smaller size of it. But then also sometimes it just doesn't la it just kind of lacks like the kick that you need to really get it going. Hmm. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what to think about this. Also, what the heck? What's going on? Do you guys see the silver on the inside of the handles there? Is that is that blade rub tap? It doesn't have tap. Interesting. I don't know what's causing that. Hmm, on paper, this should be like my perfect flipper because it's very, it's like Ted describes it as very neutral. It's a, uh, it's smaller for my little tiny baby hands. But then actually in practice, it, it's very weird. Oh, also, I never give it a sound test. This thing sounds really good. But what I'm really excited for is this. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's nice. That thing sounds very good. And I am getting used to it. But I just, I still keep messing up fairly basic tricks that I should know really well at this point. That doesn't feel, I, hold on. It doesn't feel like it's the fault of the trainer. But at the same time, it kind of does. Let me get my Arctic and see if, see if I'm experiencing, like it could just be like the weirdness of the edit that's, that's made me not be used to any of my other ballad songs. Cause I've been flipping basically only the edit for the past few days. No, I mean, I don't want to drop those on each other. Yeah, hmm. This thing's weird. No, it's, it's definitely something that I'm not, either I'm not used to with the trainer or that um, is a slight problem with the balance of the trainer. I think it needs a little bit more handle bias. Not even handle bias. I think it needs a little bit more weight in the handles. Because this thing is, is like, it feels like I've tried a prototype of a plastic ballast song before that didn't fan very well because it ran out of, um, it ran out of momentum really quickly. So if you kept a fan going like this, it wouldn't go for very long. Whereas this is the opposite. This thing can just fan forever. But for some reason, if you don't crank it on rollover based tricks, it just doesn't feel like it has the oomph it needs to finish the trick completely. Also, helix aerials just feel... It could be the white background that I just can't see the movement of the knife in the air correctly. But the... Uh... The helix areas feel just a slight bit off. Oh, that was a bite handle trap one. I didn't even realize. Hmm. I wasn't planning on making more than just the unboxing and first impressions video on this, but I think I'm going to do a week with the jigsaw video because after such a weird first impressions video, I feel like I'm going to need to make another video following up to either say I got used to it or to say that it has this, like the balance is just weird for me. I can't stop flipping it though. I don't know, something about it's very, Small, fast, and light is a uh, is a very addictive combo. Can tell you that right now. Pinky's still healing, but we managed to get a. Uh, we managed to get a pinky catch in there. Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe you guys will be able to see it in my flipping, but it just doesn't feel as smooth. My flipping feels very sloppy on the jigsaw, whereas on something with the Arctic, it kind of goes back to being... I'm not the smoothest flipper in the world, but it goes back to feeling pretty normal. And probably looks a little smoother. Okay, interesting. I'm going to spend some time with this thing. Also, wait, no, maybe it is a lot smaller than the Arctic. I really can't tell. Open, not really. Oh, it's the handles. The blade is super long, but the handles are super short. Okay, anyway, a lot of, of thoughts to think about with the, uh, the jigsaw. Oh, the vault. Wait, the vault would have been good to compare this to. It actually feels, it's very similar to the Vulp in that the Vulp's handles are slightly smaller in dimensions and the Vulp is fast, light, and relatively neutral. But the Vulp keeps that momentum pretty well. It also could just be that I'm very used to the Vulp at this point. 
So I'm going to do a follow up with the jigsaw in a few days, probably not going to be a full week, but I'll do it in a few days to really figure out it fans so well. I love the way this thing fans um, to figure out if it's just me or if it's the balance of the ballast song or whatever. Thank you for watching me essentially just stumble over my words and say nothing for maybe 10 minutes straight. Um, I appreciate it. And I will see you all in the I spent a week with the edit review. Peace, guys.